Well, let's have a chat with the, the spokesperson for Transact. Is it Transaction? 2000, Peter Knight. Hi, Peter. Good morning to you. Ah, you're the people behind the fuel protest. Uh, Alistair Darling's listened then, has he? I don't think so at all, no. Well, he's dropped let's the be 2p. Fair, um, I don't think he has at all, because if he'd, if he'd have put it on anyway, it was just going to drive more nails in the coffin than we've already got at the moment, and I consider that the two-pence increase was a no-brainer. We, You know, we couldn't afford it anyway, so he's not actually... We're not celebrating at all. Um, uh, <laughs> he's got to give us a, a lot more than that for so us will to the, be. So will the fuel protests continue, in your opinion? Um, that... Uh, that I can't tell you at this present time. We was, we was in government yesterday um, listening to a debate which was very interesting about the, the oil prices. Um, we're back in London again tomorrow, um, working with the government again tomorrow. We were with the Transport Select Committee tomorrow. So that, there's an awful lot going on. Um, as I said, you know, yeah, the two pence... What we're do not you want, then? Sorry? What do you want? Well, as we've said before, you know, the FTA, the RHA and Transaction are all saying the same. We need 25 pence a litre off of our fuel price so that we can be... Um, Hang on a minute. 25p off every litre for everybody? No, just for essential users. Well, what, who, who's going to be called an essential user then? Well, us guys that deliver the stuff to your supermarket. Yeah, OK. So, truckers, what about cabbies? Sorry? What about cabbies? What about cabbies? Yeah. Well, They're they... essential. What about a driving instructor? How on earth is a... If you're going to quiz me, sir, I shall just put the... F well, um, well, the if, I, if I'm going to quiz you, you're going to put the phone down? Listen, just... Well, I'm not allowed to ask you questions. I think I've had... Um, I think I've had some dealings with you before. Let me just Do tell you... Do you want to answer the question? You know, it... well, if what's an essential user? You say you're a spokesperson for them. I've asked you a straight question, what are you after? You've answered that question, yeah. which is 25p. Yeah. If you don't want somebody then to ask you the next question, you're a pretty pathetic lobby group, and I don't know why anyone would take you seriously. It's a perfectly reasonable question I'm asking, and you've got on your high horse and said, if you're going to quiz me, I'll put a phone out. How do you think you are? Goodness me. Answer the question. Why isn't a cabbie as important as a haulier? Why okay, isn't a driving yeah. instructor? Why don't they deserve it? Why doesn't the ordinary motorist deserve it? Look. I actually support your aims, although I, I don't really know what your aims are, because you seem incapable of describing them on national let radio. Me just, let me just Call take... yourself a spokesman. <laughs> Have you been smelling the petrol or what? I bet you're no bigger than about five foot two with an attitude like that. Anyway, let's go on. Are you going to answer the question? Yeah, I'm going to answer the question. Rather than insult me. Listen, let's put it where it belongs, OK? The general public, they have a choice to use their car or not. Do they? What, if they live in the when, rural community? When, when my trucks leave surprise. my yard... So it's just about truckers. Oh, right. When my trucks leave my yard, I don't have anything... To do only fill them up with diesel okay and that's what i have to do to maintain my business to make sure that everything so is it's delivered. all about self-interest then the truckers just looking after themselves you looking after your own business no, no, no. rather than trying to get the british public to support you i mean you know isn't, isn't this a pr disaster for you what you're saying is you don't care about anybody else what? apart from haulies you don't even care about the cabbies let me the backbone of britain let me just what, cabbies? Yeah. Okie dokie. Let me just Driving tell you instructors, this. white van man, courier man, what about them? Don't care about them either, do you? Let me just tell you this. You're disgraceful. Let me just tell you this. If we get a reduction in our fuel, okay, everybody benefits. Because really? Because the price of food will go down. Because every time that the government want to put the price of fuel up and the horrendous tax that we pay... It is just putting on the top line for everybody. Well, we all understand that. That's basic economics. I learned that one at about 14 years old. Did you? Yeah. However, it's no wonder the British people haven't got behind your previous go slows, isn't it? When it's clear, it's all about self-interest. It's only about you. It's not even about other essential users. Well, how about this? What a disgrace. I'm a disgrace. Who gives you the mandate? 
Who gives you the mandate to drive and make the British public have all the inconvenience? We were putting up the inconvenience of your go slows because we thought you were fighting for all motorists, all users, but clearly all your fighting. I hope it's not the whole of your group who think this, so obviously maybe it's just you, Peter, but you seem to think it's only about you and your selfish self-interest. What a sad, what a sad indictment. Goodness me. I, um, as I said to you, you know, I really do think you have, you have an attitude problem. What, why is there an attitude Maybe. problem? I asked you a question, what about other users? And you said, what about cabbies? Maybe. What about Vite Van Man? It's just about you, isn't it? Maybe. Let, let's, let's just put it like this. We all remember. We all remember 2000, don't we? We all remember 2000. That is not a situation that we're going to get involved with. We have made major, major steps with this government to try and make them understand that road hauliers are a major, major part of this economy. And Sounds we... to me like you spent a bit too much time in Downing Street. Are you not worried you're becoming one of them, Peter? I'm becoming You made a Freudian slip at the beginning of the interview, and maybe we'll play it back to you later. Uh, we were in government yesterday. Freudian slip, perhaps. Wouldn't no. Sure you're not getting too cosy with government? We, no, we're not at all. Sure. Yeah. Positive. Comfortable. Absolutely. Right, but it's just about hauliers. Pardon? It's just about hauliers. Why if, van man doesn't deserve 25p off of the fuel? Why? Cabbies definitely don't, because you speak with them about them with disdain. I heard it in your voice. What about right. ambulances? Right. Well, let's be, let's be fair. As far as, I, <sighs> as I'm concerned... We are fighting for British hauliers. Yeah, clearly. Uh, nice okay. talking to you. And we are. That's Peter Knight from uh, Transaction 2000. Uh, tell him to ring him up afterwards and I'll give him some media training. Well, I'll charge him. Uh, 11.31.